Charlottesville police say the man responsible for a deadly February shooting in the city is now behind bars. Remaqua Antonio Nicholas is 19 years old and from Charlottesville denied he's charged with second degree murder and using a gun while committing the crime. As NBC 29's Kagan Hughes shows us in our top story at five, Charlottesville's police chief says this is an important step in the right direction. Hi Kagan. Casey, this one arrest in one shooting, an important one according to the police, but not the last and not a solution by itself to the violence the city has been seeing. It wasn't random. Chief Michael Cotches is underlining that as a reassurance of sorts. The shootings that have plagued the city, including the one on Hardy Drive, were between people who knew each other, not strangers who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. It was a pre it, it was a meeting that was supposed to occur. This was a case where the victim, Nicholas Pendleton, was shot in a pickup truck several blocks away. This is a very it's this is still a very active and fluid investigation. Ray McQuaw Antonio Nicholas was arrested Wednesday. Now Cotches says he wants to help stop future gun crimes by getting firearms off the street with a gun buyback program. Now we're in the process of working with the city attorney's office about drawing up an ordinance. It's an idea that's been rolled out elsewhere in the state. Their jurisdictions have done them. Uh, Roanoke City's done them. Uh, Richmond PD's done them. There's no word yet on what gun buyback would cost, what a gun would be worth, or where the money would come from. Live in the newsroom, NBC 29 News at 5.